What's up, Kansas City? We're at the Centennial Methodist United Church at 1834 Woodland, and we have a citizen here who is concerned about what's going on with the 18th and Vine development area. Why don't you introduce yourself to everyone, sir? My name is Richard Gaylord Kushan, and uh, I'm from the Marlboro District, but a lifetime resident of Kansas City, Missouri. I grew up in this 18th District, 18th Street District, when it was vibrant, when it did have everything that all the other cities, all the other areas of the city have. Uh, you go worldwide, you know, you could go to Europe, Spain, anywhere you want to go. If you ask the people about Kansas City, they will all mention one place, 18th and Vine and the people who lived here. Those people are the ones who made Kansas City what it is today through jazz, uh, through all the things that we have done as a people, uh, we've been number one. If we've been allowed to take part, we've had the opportunity to overcome everything. But when they take and put us in the positions that they're putting us in now, and that is the use of money. Money is something that they don't allow us to have. We're talking about spending money here on Vine. You spend that money is to get jobs, it's to be able to buy houses, it's to pay rent, it's to have cars, but it's not you working to do those jobs. All the work, I don't care where you are. If you, you're in the inner city, and I'm calling the inner city anywhere between 75th Street to 18th Street and beyond, you see work going on. But tell me how often do you see the people that are doing the work in those areas that look like you? They don't. And without money, you can't do nothing. They can put a grocery store at 63rd and Prospect. They can put a grocery store at Linwood and Prospect. It would make no difference if you don't have the people in that area with spendable money. It can't survive. And you're not going to get the white population to come into this area. And they can say what they want to say. But they can create jobs for themselves by using you as an excuse. And that's what they do. I'll give you this, but in giving you something, they are the true recipients. So what I'm saying is that we as a people have to take time to look at what is really happening to us. It goes back to me uh, in the 50s when communism was around. You, you had a word that, that is very true now, and it's called propaganda. And propaganda is not truth, but it's something that they can constantly push upon you, push upon you until they change your mind. And I think that's what they've done to us as a race of people. We've forgotten our greatness. And now is the time for us to step up and reclaim what is ours. So what is your opinion about them naming the stadium down here for the kids, George Brett? Uh, that stadium will be participated by probably 70% white people. It will not be blacks in this area. They'll come in and they'll take it. That's why they want Parade Park. Think about it. If they get Parade Park, they're within walking distance of the Pine Light District. They're within walking distance of the, of, of the crossroads. This is an area that they're going to get. They're taking over. And if we let them take that down there at Parade Park, Parade Park has a, a a rental of about four to six hundred dollars a month and they have already told the people there if they get into there the rents will run from twelve to sixteen hundred dollars a month yeah, that's and the crazy. people Nobody there aren't even making that much money a month right that's why I said they're not so, gonna be able to afford that yeah so I mean but that's the intent but I'm doing something for you I'm setting this up and look what I'm building for you no, you're not building anything for me. you're using my money our money for something that you want and something that's going to benefit you and not my people. And that's all I'm concerned with. The same as all they're concerned with is their people. All I'm concerned about is mine. I appreciate your passion, sir. No problem. I'm Serenity Money and you Spit Your Peace. Make sure you check out what's up, KansasCity.net. I'm IFBB Bikini Pro Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.